Abram, we're playing Candyland. You've not played this before. No, never. All right, well this is pretty simple stuff. Easy rules, we're learning our colors and we're making our way around this beautiful Candyland and whoever gets to the Candy Castle first will be declared the winner. Yeah. You gotta pick your color first, by the way. I gotta, the go, with, I gotta go with my hair color. <laughs> I thought for sure it would be green. That was a layup, I thought for sure. You can go first, so picking colors yeah. and making our way around the path. Let's do it. Blue. And that just ended a double blue, which is great. See? Double? Double blue, absolutely. All the way up to there. Was this just not a thing in British Columbia? Is Candyland just an American thing? I Potentially? I got no idea. Oh, that's dumb. Yeah, nice. I think, yeah, I've never heard of this, so it must oh, be. Oh, wow. Mind blown right now. Listen, I'm, I'm glad we can expand yeah. your horizons here yeah. today. <laughs> totally. So if this was not a game that you played growing up, what were some of the games that you and your family did? Uh, I grew up playing a lot of Monopoly. Both my brothers played hockey growing up, mm -hmm. and then my sister played lacrosse. Nice. And then my older sister swam, and we all we all swam actually. So we all competitively swam for, and I swam until I was about four years old, till fifteen. So oh wow! It was a very busy household. Something was always going yeah, on during the day. Yeah, I would imagine yeah. so. What was your favorite stroke? The backstroke. Yeah, it's the one that looks the most relaxing. Oh man! All right, so ice cream cone. So back up just a little bit, just a couple. That's all right. As you look at the board, there are obviously lots of different things. Peppermint Forest, yeah. Gumdrop Mountains, Chocolate Falls. If you were going to hang out in one of these areas of Candylands, what would be your top pick? Probably the chocolate place. The chocolate. <laughs> That's a good choice. I'm a big sweets guy. Yeah. What's your What's your go-to like dessert or ice cream flavor? Probably like a cookie dough. Nice. Is cookie dough ice cream on the Mark Pullman nutrition plan? No. <laughs> no, that's not on there. <laughs> you can have a cheat day though. Yeah. Every once in a while. Yeah, one, one bull's not gonna kill you. Two years ago you got drafted by Vegas. What was that draft day experience like for you? I know you weren't on site, but what was it like to hear your name called? Yeah, that was probably one of the craziest days. Rogers is a cell service. The mm -hmm. whole service went out that day. So no I couldn't way. call, I couldn't get any calls. <laughs> so I got a text from one of my buddies on my the team, and I said, let's go, we let's go. And I was like, what, like, did I just get drafted? So we ran over to the TV, <laughs> my name popped up on Vegas, and it was, it was a surreal moment. Like, That's you know, crazy. Really the only thing like it. When you get drafted, you kind of become part of the organization. What was your, I'm assuming you were a Canucks fan maybe growing up? Who, yeah. who was kind of your NHL team? Yeah, big Canucks fan. And then grew up watching the Blackhawks as well, because um, my great uncle played for the Chicago oh, Blackhawks, cool. so I grew up watching the Blackhawks. Yeah. Well. So yeah. does your allegiance instantly shift to the team that drafts you or do you kind of, how, do, how does yeah. that work? Yeah, like I watch Vegas a lot, yeah. but I think it's hard to not watch Vancouver because we're always on TV I'm back sure. home, so. Makes sense. Yeah. This is a good battle, by the way. This is, is. this has became a lot more competitive than it was like two minutes ago. Oh What'd you get? <laughs> the gumdrop is like the first, oh, oh man. Oh my goodness. It's a cruel game sometimes. Uh, you're playing with a bunch of new guys this year. Now, obviously, as a freshman, you'd be with a bunch of new guys anyway, but you've yeah. got eight players on D, you know, seven of your teammates that have never experienced UND hockey before. Yeah. What's that been like to see that group come together? I think it's been really good. We're getting to know each other really yeah. well, and then just getting to know each other on the ice as well, you know, building some chemistry. So, so far, so good. Yeah, yeah good. It's a great group of guys. Yeah, it's going to be fun yeah. to see that group come together yeah. over the course of the totally. season. It's also going to be fun um, to see me win this game with a, with a double orange. Good game, Abram. That was fun. See, did, yay or nay on Candyland. Good game or maybe... Good game. Good game, good game for the kids. Yeah, it's huh. a great game. <laughs> <laughs>